Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, you will learn how you can seamlessly integrate Elementor forms with Pipedrive. Guys, Elementor is a powerful plugin of WordPress and Pipedrive is a sales and pipeline management tool. And guys, both of these tools are extensively used in many businesses. So guys, with the help of this integration, you can save a lot of your time that you have to spend otherwise in manually taking the data from Elementor and manually adding in Pipedrive. So I'm going to show you how you can create leads in Pipedrive automatically whenever anyone submits your form on Elementor. And guys, we can set up this whole automation without any coding super simply. So without any further delay, let's start. Guys, to set up the workflow of our automation, we are using Pabli Connect, which is an automation tool. And to reach this page, guys, you can use the link in the description. And from here, you can sign up for free and you will get free automation tasks every month. OK, so guys, sign up right now from the given link. And after that, you can sign in to reach the dashboard. And from here, guys, click on this create workflow button. Here you can provide a suitable name to your workflow. So let me give a name here. So guys, I have given this name here and let me click on create button now and you can see the workflow page started loading up here. And on this page, guys, you will find the basic building blocks of our automation, which are the trigger and the actions. So guys, trigger is that event which starts the workflow and the actions are the automated responses of the trigger. In our use case, guys, getting a form submission via Elementor plugin is going to trigger this workflow and the actions is to create a lead in pipe drive okay so first of all when you click on this trigger section it will ask you to choose the trigger application so search for elementor here then select the trigger event as new form submission and it will give you this webhook url to create a connection with elementor and guys webhooks are used to get the data from any external application to here in the public Connects workflow okay so guys, you need to follow these steps written here to create this connection. Let me show you the steps. This is uh, my WordPress dashboard and here is a form I have created using Elementor. This is the form. Okay. And here I'm opening the editor of Elementor. So this is the editing page of Elementor. And here guys, when you uh, click on any of these sections here in the form, on the left hand side panel, you will find this content tab. Under content tab, when you scroll down, guys, you will find this actions after submit option. Open it. And guys, here you will find this add action field. So when you click here, it will show you this list. From here, you have to uh, select webhook option. Okay. Right. And after selecting webhook here, this field will appear like this. Uh, after actions after submit option, you will find this webhook option. Open it. And here it will show you this webhook URL field. Here you have to paste the webhook URL that you got from your workflow. So just click on copy here. Okay. And paste the URL here like this. Okay. And then click on this update button right here. You can see the form is getting updated. Okay. And here you can see as we have copied the URL, webhook URL, it started listening for the response of this connection. This means now we need to perform a test submission. Test submission means now I'm going to manually fill the form with some test details and I'm going to submit the form and the data of that submission will be captured here. So guys, let me open the form first. I am opening the form. This is the form I have created to create a lead in Pipedrive. So here it is asking for the name of the lead. So let me give the name of the lead as dummy. So guys, I have filled the details as dummy lead. This is the email address. This is the contact number. This is the organization. This is the address of the organization and the leads value. And here I'm clicking on submit and you can see the form is getting submitted. And you can see here it started showing your submission was successful. Let's check in our workflow if we got the data captured. And here you can see guys, we have received the same data here. Okay, you can see dummy lead and all other details, right? So after getting this data, guys, we want to create a lead in pipe drive here. So here when you create any lead, uh, you need to associate this lead when with any contact person or with any organization. 
so guys first of all i am going to create an organization because we have get the uh, we have asked for the details of the organization as well you can see the name and the address of the organization so first of all i'm going to use this action window and here i'm going to search for pipe drive to search for pipe drive and here i'm going to use the action event as create organization okay so first of all we are going to create an organization then we are going to associate this lead with the same organization okay so click on connect button from here select add new connection and here it is asking for the api key of pipe drive so guys you can get this key following these instructions written here let me show you that this is my pipe drive application and here in the top right corner you can see the personal preferences option click on it under personal preferences click on this api tab and here is the api key or token you can generate a new token as well i'm just copying this and let me paste it here and then click on save and you will be connected with pipe drive and this connection will be saved in your account okay and here it is asking for the name to be given to the organization so guys i am going to map the name of the organization from the triggers response okay we have received these values and i am going to uh, labels and i am going to map these labels here in these fields so just click here on the name field and the previous step will appear in the drop down like this and when you click on it you will find the data right here so from here just map the organization name label okay if you want to provide any other label here according to pipe drive you can select it i am not selecting anyone right now if you want to assign any owner you can put the owner's name here right now i'm leaving it blank okay and here in the visibility you can select the visibility i am selecting the visibility as all users can see this organization and in the address field i am going to map the address from the triggers response this is the address label i have mapped it okay now you can click on save and send test request button and a new organization will be created and in response you will see this kind of response it is showing success value 1 and a data id equals to 3 so our data id is generated that means we got a new organization in pipe drive right now i'm going to associate the lead with the same organization so just click here on this plus icon and another action window will open up and here i'm going to connect with pipe drive one more time and this time i'm going to use the action event as create lead here is create lead option select it then click on connect button now guys we are already connected with the pipe drive and the connection is saved so i'm going to use the existing connection okay so keep this selected and then click on save and you will be connected again with pipe drive no need to fill the api key every time right so we are now connected and then here it started asking for the lead name and all these things so guys in the lead name i'm going to map the name of the lead from the triggers response from the elementor we have received the name as this just click on it to map it okay if you and here it will sh uh, show you the owner id so you can select the owner from here then it will ask for the organization's id so here guys we are going to map the organization from the previous step we have received the data id here okay in the response and i'm going to map it here in the organization field just toggle this map button to on okay then erase this field and from the last step map the data id okay so guys uh, we have associated an organization with the same lead okay then it will ask for the person id so if you want to associate any person that already exists in your pipe drive you can select the person here but guys when you manually select this it will remain static and every time when this workflow is going to run the the same person is going to be associated so if you want to associate a single person you can use it or you can just toggle this map button to on and erase this field so that no person will be associated okay automatically and guys when you map the data like this uh, like i have done in the organization field what will happen whenever this workflow is going to run the mapped labels will be updated and new organization will be associated with new lead okay that's why we map the data here right and here you can select the label for this lead hot warm or cold i'm selecting warm option leads value we have received the leads value as well from the triggers response just map it the currency details here you can provide the currency details inr is our currency so i'm writing inr if you have any other you can put the value here 
right? If you have a closer date, just put the date in this format here, right? Uh, so these are not compulsory fields. So I'm leaving these blank here. You can see to enter the visibility, you can follow the instructions and put any value here. Let me put this owner's visibility group or seven is the value for entire company. Let me just put seven here. Okay, right. So if this uh, uh, lead is already seen, you can make it true or false. But right now this is a fresh lead. So I'm making it false. Finally, guys, you can test your connection with pipe drive by clicking on save and send test request button and a new lead will be generated here inside the leads section. Let me show you. These are the three leads we already have. Let me click on save and send test request button and let's see if we got a new lead added. And this is the response we got guys. You can see it's showing success and these this response. Let's see in pipe drive if we got this new lead. I'm just going to refresh the page of leads. And here you can see guys, a new lead is added here named as dummy lead and it's a warm lead coming from API source. And you can see all other details as well by opening this lead. Here you can see the amount guys, organization associated with the lead, everything is here. Right, so this is how it is going to work guys. So we are done setting up the automation and you have to set up it only once. After that, it is going to trigger automatically whenever you are going to receive a new form submission and it will create an organization first, then associate the organization with a new lead automatically. And guys, I'm going to paste the link of this workflow in the description so that you can clone this workflow in your own free Pabli Connect account and start using this automation instantly. Guys, thank you so much for watching our video and please, please let us know how our automation ideas are helping you in the comment section. And if you have any queries related to this application, please ask your queries from this forum link and do check the pricing of this application from this link. And guys, we are open to ideas. If you want us that we should make videos on other aspects of your business, please do let us know in the comment section. And if you like our work, please subscribe to our channel.